What's up, YouTube? Jeff back again today. Another very exciting Samsung video for you guys today. Quite a packed tech day. The new iPhones launched, so I went and picked that iPhone 15 Pro Max up from the Apple Store to do a little comparison to the S23 Ultra. So that'll be coming probably later today. But Samsung decided to make my day extra fun and also released the One UI 6.0 beta number four here in the US about two hours ago. So picked up the iPhone, then did that. Today I'm gonna go over the iPhone, uh, the uh, One UI 6.0 beta four in this video, tell you guys what's new, talk about the animations a little bit. Um, the beta updates are getting more and more iterative, so not a lot of stuff new, but we're gonna get into that. Before we do, I wanna remind you guys, if you're gonna be ordering a Galaxy S24 Ultra or other Galaxy S24 device um, this January or February, whenever Samsung puts them out, Make sure to check out the link in the description. If you're here in the US, you can get a free mystery box from me. We cover the shipping. You get a free case, a free cleaning kit, a free desktop phone stand, which is actually the one I'm using right here to prop things up. This is a travel stand right here from Lamacall. There's gonna be new accessories this time. So if you've ordered in the past a mystery box, uh, don't worry, you're not gonna get the same stuff. We're also giving away some 75 inch Samsung TVs for every 500 people who participate. So all you have to do is use my affiliate link when you order from Samsung and then you'll get the mystery box with all the goodies. And for every 500 people who use my affiliate link, we're also gonna give away 75 inch Samsung TV. So you'll have a chance to win that in addition to the guaranteed stuff that we ship out in the mystery box. Check out the link in the description, pin comment for that. Anyway, the beta just arrived, the new beta. And let me show it to you really quickly. Here we go. Uh, you can see right here, it's got the October 1st security patch. We're living in the future. I always like giving getting security patches that are uh, for dates that haven't even happened yet. So this is October 1st security patch and we've got it on September 22nd. That's pretty fun. It's uh, obviously One UI 6 ending in ZWIC. And you can see here 1,028.79 uh, megabytes, roughly just one gig. And uh, you can see up here what's been fixed. So fix the onboarding failure when trying to log in after initializing Samsung Pass or logging out of the Samsung account. Fix problem that voice recognition is not possible when you say answer the phone while receiving a call and fixed a Google Assistant execution problem when swiping up in the gesture mode of the navigation bar. And of course, always many other improvements. Samsung always puts that in there to cover the fact that they've included some new stability fixes as well. Now, there's still some known issues. So this is not the last beta version. Some people are wondering if maybe we would only get four betas this year. We usually get five. So we probably got one more and then the stable release. So if you look down here and the known issues, motion photo is not available. So that kind of stinks for those of you who like to use motion photo. It's a feature I use sometimes uh, when taking photos of my son, you capture a little video before and after the photo. This is a pretty serious one. If you're gonna be using the beta as your daily driver, infinite reboot occurs when entering maintenance mode. So do not put your Galaxy S23 in maintenance mode. If it's running the One UI 6.0 beta number four, you'll get an infinite boot loop. That does not sound good. The last one is kids app cannot be installed after updating from One UI 5 to 6. It'll be installed in mid-September as a separate app, public open at the end of September. So this is very interesting. I don't know if they're talking about the kids app or if they're talking about the official version of One UI 6. It kind of sounds like that they're saying that the official public version of One UI 6, non-beta, the stable version, might come at the end of September. So in that case, we might see a One UI beta 5 roll out pretty quickly and then the stable. Either way, we're probably only getting one more, so definitely mid-October is a pretty safe bet at this point. So let's talk about animations. The animations have steadily gotten better in One UI 6 beta. Uh, I've been really impressed with the animations on here. I'll quickly show you guys something and I'll link him below as well because he made a nice slow-mo video. He's much better at these than I am. Although I am gonna try to start doing some of these because people just like them for whatever reason. Uh, this is the best animations. He kind of showed the animations kind of doing them really quickly, going through them. They're very smooth. This is True Dats over on Twitter. I'll drop his uh, Twitter profile below so you guys can follow. Uh, the One UI Home version was updated. That's another update. And then here, he showed the default 1X nonlinear animations. They do look quite beautiful. And then he also did them, I think, did he do it in slow-mo? No, I think this is the only other one he did. But they look really smooth. I've been really impressed with them. You guys can see them here in natural real time, even with the multitasking window open. I've been really happy overall. I use Samsung News on this side. I've been testing Samsung News over the Google News feed. I know people are gonna get on me about that. Google News is better, but anyway, the animations do seem to be much improved. Samsung's really been working on that with this particular release. The swipe down gesture from the top corner to get the quick settings is also super smooth now. There were some issues with that in the previous beta. 
And you can also get into the recent apps with super smooth action. The previous ones were a little bit stuttery, but uh, it's been really smooth since I've been using this. Again, I installed it about an hour ago, so not a ton to say in terms of battery life just yet because I haven't used it. Um, it's 1 p.m. and I'm at 69%, but I was using this on the previous beta this morning, so it's not all about the new one. I don't really see any other huge changes yet other than the One UI uh, update, the One UI Home update that Tarun mentioned as well. Uh, I did update my other stock Samsung apps. I actually mentioned before that uh, if you update now, you can actually update the stock Samsung apps at the same time as you do the update itself. This is a, I made a video on that like a week ago, but I did update the other stock Samsung apps and we'll take a look and see if there's anything new, but it doesn't seem like there's any super big features because they would normally highlight those obviously in the update log. One thing I will say is if you go into general management and reset, um, the new reset menu, which we talked about in a previous video is not here yet in the One UI 6.0 beta. I'm sure it'll eventually make it. You have a cloud storage section where you can back up your stuff to the Samsung cloud. That's not made its way yet to the One UI 6.0 beta, but pretty much everything else in here that we expect to see, you know, is looking pretty good. Let's check and see if there's anything new in Bixby text call. I don't think so. It doesn't really look like there's anything new in here. You can still do custom voice. Nothing quite new inside Bixby text call. Anyway, I'll definitely post some updates over on my Twitter. Check out Tarun's Twitter because he always posts cool updates over there as well. Um, let me know if you guys have any questions. Definitely don't run maintenance mode if you're going to run this beta. Hopefully I have the stable version soon. Check back later if you want to see S23 Ultra iPhone 15 Pro Max comparisons. Like, comment, subscribe. Again, if you guys are interested in the S24 Ultra mystery boxes here in the U.S., check out the pinned comment description to sign up for the information. And I'll get you guys some information via email as we get closer to that launch. Appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot.